Tamani here once again with another video and as you know today is Wednesday which means that it's time for a little midweek motivation and today we're talking about something pretty important something that will help us with our goals and you know we would have been talking about our goals all from January and now we are into February and we are still trying to achieve greatness and so we would have looked at how we can plan for them we would have written them down big and bold and now it is time for us to look at our words now what importance does our words have for our goals oh well I'm here to let you know about it our words are so important they are very 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 powerful did you know that like our words can help us to be able to move forward and they can even stop us from being able to do amazing things are you sitting down and telling yourself that your goals are way too big for you are you telling yourself that you can't do it or this is impossible and it will never get done well, I'm here to let you know that you are not speaking life into your goals if you're saying any of those things. Because this is a new year and we have new things we want to achieve. And if we want to achieve them, we can't be speaking negatively towards what we're trying to accomplish. Yes, we're going to have our bad days and yes, it may seem like we're not moving forward at the pace that we would like, but that doesn't mean that we need to be negative. That's the time where we need to be the most positive and we need to continue to encourage ourselves. And if we don't feel like we can encourage ourselves at that point in time, while well, God has given us his word, which has so many encouraging verses to help us to continue on our way. So I just want to encourage you to continue to speak positively about your goals. Remember that, yes, they may seem like there's so much to do. But remember, we are only in the second month which means that it's not impossible. There are so many more days, which means that there are so many more opportunities for us to be able to accomplish what we have on our goals list. And I just wanted to enlighten you about how powerful our words are. God's word says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So are you speaking death into your goals? Are you trying to make them die? Are you trying to make them um, impossible for yourself? Or are you speaking life into them and know that even though you might not have accomplished what you wanted to today, that there is always tomorrow. All right, so just remember, let's speak some life into the things that we are doing, the goals that we're trying to accomplish so that we can ultimately achieve greatness. All right, everybody, let's not say that I can't do it. Instead, let's say I can. How about instead of saying that this is too hard, that we're going to say, I'm going to try and I'm going to do my very best. All right, because, you know, things are not going to always be easy. We are going to have a little challenge with our goals, but you know what? Anything is possible with God. So that's all I have for you for today. I just want you to also remind your friends that they need to speak a life into their goals and let them know that, yes, there are going to be hard days, but let's not be negative. Instead, let's keep that positive mindset. Well, that's all I have for you. And I hope that you continue to smile and stay motivated. Continue to enjoy the rest of your week. Well, that's all.